In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people, and welcome. Today is Saturday, the 4th of January, 2020. You are listening to Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed. The Church celebrates the Feast of St. Elizabeth and Seton, religious. Thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who were pleased to shine forth with new light through the coming of your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that just as he was pleased to share a bodily form through the child-bearing of the Virgin Mary, so we too may one day merit to become companions in his kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Today's first reading is taken from the first letter of St. John, chapter 3, verses 7 to 10. The Gospel from St. John, chapter 1, verses 35 to 42. I read from the Gospel. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which means the Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at Peter and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which means Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Recommend others with no jealousy or bias. Recommend others with no jealousy or bias. Dear friends, in today's very short yet rich gospel, there are however plenty things to learn. In the first episode, John the Baptist is with his disciples, two of them. As a prophet, he had followers and very close disciples who were following him and his teachings. The reason for following him was because they saw in him a great person and the authenticity of his message. Then, to their surprise, John the Baptist sees Jesus passing and he points to him 
telling his disciples, Behold the Lamb of God. By this, John the Baptist pulled attention away from himself and directed it to Christ. He acknowledged Jesus as greater than he. That is humility. In a world of competition, where every other person is seen as a rival or competitor, it is difficult now to point to others and acknowledge in deep humility that those who are more capable than we are. Everyone wants to be at the spotlight. Everyone wants to shine. Everyone wants it. It therefore becomes absolutely impossible and difficult to point to the other and say they are more capable. It is not a matter of not being capable or great. We are all capable, perhaps in many things. John was great. He was capable. They looked up to him. Some even thought he was the Messiah. But Jesus was greater than he. So in humility, he pointed to Jesus. You may think I am great, but there is one greater than I am. That is what he meant. You may think I am so important, but there is one more important than I am. This virus makes it difficult for people to recommend others. All they see is vice and reasons why you cannot make it, or should not make it, or should not be given. John points to Jesus. John recommends Jesus. He tells his own disciples, Behold, there he is, the Lamb of God. There were consequences of his act, no doubt. By recommending Jesus and pointing to him, John meant Jesus was greater. And as consequence, two of his disciples with whom he was standing left him immediately and followed Jesus. These disciples too, eh? They won't even wait, as though they had been waiting for it. John therefore lost all his followers, but he did not lose his essence and pedigree. He remained a great person. Dear friends, can you recommend someone as greater and better than you? Not because you are yourself not capable, or not because you are yourself not great, but in truth and sincerity, you know and think they are better. Recommending someone and pointing to them as greater than you does not belittle you in any way. It rather shows your greatness and mark of maturity. The story continues. One of the two disciples who left John and followed Jesus was Andrew, meaning Andrew was first a disciple of John and later became an apostle of Jesus. After following Jesus that day, they saw where he lived, spent time with him, and later left. Andrew then came back and recommended his brother Simon Peter to Jesus. He told his brother, We have seen the Lord, and he brought his brother to Jesus. Now, look at the form. Peter was later chosen by Jesus as head of the apostles, not Andrew, who saw him first. Andrew recommended his brother, and he became his head and leader. Do you think Andrew was unhappy for recommending his brother, who later became his leader? Not at all. What destroys us is a certain jealousy, a certain germ of bias, malice, envy, that recommending others will mean they will be above us. So why must it be them? Though we see their worth, Though we see their capability and that they are even more capable than we are, we would rather prefer not to recommend them. This has rather led to sabotage and character assassination of others, bringing them down rather than taking them up. We always want to destroy and to kill their names. It should not be them. If actually getting certain offices and positions depended on recommendations of others, I tell you, some will not even have recommended that you were born. Recommending others, beloved, rather makes us great. It means you made them who they are. That is the simple truth. Jesus proves the greatness of John the Baptist. 
John recommended Jesus to his disciples, and Jesus in turn recommended the greatness of John. Of all children born of women, none is greater than John the Baptist, said Jesus. So in truth, beloved, recommending others does not belittle us. It rather proves how great we are and how mature we are because in recommending them, we made them. We put them where they are. Let us pray for that grace. The grace of humility. The grace of sincerity. The grace of truthfulness. The grace of positivity. To see the good in others and to recommend them. For in recommending them, we prove a maturity and we prove just how great we are. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a very blessed weekend. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. We wish each and every one of you a very happy feast of the Epiphany.